Hi everybody, this is my uh, new video. I'm going to be comparing the Ligu Shark 1 and the Ulephone Power. Both are Chinese smartphones and um, we'll have a look at the, uh, the design first. Both have um, a metal frame around the edge. and a uh, plastic back with um, a non-removable battery on there. The uh, Ligu Shark is 8.5 mil thick and 82 millimeters wide and 158.6 millimeters in height. <coughs> And it's quite a heavy phone as well, it's 240.9 grams in weight uh, for that phone there. <clears throat> and for the um, Rudaphone Power, it's the same, exactly the same metal frame around the edge with a plastic back and a non removable battery. <clears throat> and this one is slightly thicker than the. Um, Legal Shark. It's 9.5 mil thickness, <clears throat> and it's 77 mil wide and 155 mil in height. Uh, so it's slightly smaller than the uh, the Legal Shark. <clears throat> yeah, slightly smaller. Um, the Legal Shark has um, six inch screen at 1080p with a 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and the Ulephone Power 5.5 inch 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass 3 as well. <clears throat> so at the moment very similar very similar phones um, just different in size really. Um, they both come with Android 5.1 although the Ulephone Power is expecting a Marshmallow update uh, which is yet to be received <coughs> which is yet to be received. Um, they're dragging the heels a little bit on that. Um, the Legu Shark comes with its own um, operating system over the top of um, Android 5.1. It's called Legu OS 1.2. <coughs> and the um, Ulephone Power just has a, um, a launcher, a different launcher, which you can see both on the, on the screen now. Um, CPU for the Ligu Shark 1 is a MediaTek 6753 1.3 GHz octa core processor. And Ulephone Power is the same MediaTek 6753 but it's 1.5 GHz octa core. So slight, slightly quicker on the CPU front there. Um, the graphical processing unit on the Ligu Shark is a T720 and the graphical processing unit on the Ulephone Power is T720 T720 as well. <clears throat> so exactly the same there. Both have 3 gig of RAM. Um, same same there. They have um, 16 gigabyte ROM in each and both can be upgraded to 64 gig by using a um, <coughs> an SD card, micro SD card on there. Um, so pretty much um, neck and neck at the moment, Sim very similar. Um, and then the big thing, both have huge batteries. Uh, Ligu Shark has 6,300 milliamp battery and it's the world's highest battery at the moment. Um, it's a lithium polymer battery and um, apparently lithium polymer batteries can be made slightly thinner so I think that's why um, this is slightly slimmer than the Ulephone Power by one millimeter. Um, Ulephone Power battery is 6,050 milliamps. Uh, and it's a lithium-ion battery, um, so it's slightly thicker. 
Um, they're both fast charging. They, they come with a fast charging charger and they do charge really fast. So I've tested that. <coughs> as far as um, battery life goes, um, we'll do a few tests today and uh, we'll see how, how they both come out there. Um, they both have a 13 megapixel rear camera. Uh, the Ligu Shark 30 megapixel has a f2.0 aperture and the Ulephone Power 13 megapixel camera has a 1.8 aperture, slightly smaller. So the Ligu Shark will, um, will let in more light when taking photos because of, of the bigger aperture. Um, again, I'll include photos as well um, right now. I'll also include um, a video as well, a little video recording, 1080p of the Legal Shark and the Ulephone Power. They um, both come with front-facing cameras, uh, as all phones do. They're both five megapixel, five megapixel there, five megapixel there. But the one difference um, the Legal Shark offers, which I've never seen before, is a front-facing flash. And the front-facing flash is that one just there. <clears throat> when I turn them on, I'll show you. I'll give you a quick show. I was quite surprised with that. Um, they both record 1080p video, as you've just seen in the video previous. Um, they both come with their fingerprint sensors at the back. There. Both look very similar, just different colour. <clears throat> okay. And um, GPS. I've used GPS on both of these, and they're pretty similar. GPS, it will get you, it will get you from A to B, but um, they uh, they're not always accurate. They always, if you're on the motorway and there's a side lane, a little side road next to it, sometimes it can jump to that side road and think you're on that road. So um, all most Chinese phones are like that. <clears throat> so yeah, let's um, let's turn these phones on and. Um, See what they're okay, about. Have a change of scenery. Um, as the conservatory was too bright and uh, letting too much sun in, and uh, we're struggling to see the screens really. So I've turned them on. They're on. They're both 100% battery, and um, we'll just run um, and two two benchmark now on both of them. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Test. Three D test. Okay, power's finished. Shark is finished too. All right, as you can see, the power wins 36,774. 3D performance 5,429 for the um, power. But the shark beats that very, very closely for 3D. User experience, the uh, power wins on there. The CPU is better in the power, um, mainly probably because this is a 1.5 gigahertz and this is 1.3 gigahertz. And the RAM, both the same size RAM, but better performance RAM on the um, Uniphone power. Let's have a look to see where these rank with other phones. Right, okay, 15, so at the bottom, but for, given, for, um, for the price you pay, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. So, that's that test on. On this um, Liga Shark you have these little buttons here. You have to see. You have to drag up to activate that. Okay. What we'll do now is let's see what battery on. Oh, okay. It was on 100% at the start. At the minute, uh, Ulifone power is at 98, and the shark is at 99. Okay. Let's have a couple of minutes on Temple Run. Just to show you gameplay, and um, and then we'll see what the uh, battery is like on there after we've used it. What's this? Okay, let's play Temple Run on Legal Shark first. Loading. Let me adjust this. Oh, take a pick now, okay. There we go, on the Ula phone. Nice job. Swipe to turn. I'm crap at these games. Oh, where am I going? So I'll do a couple of minutes of each. I think I started. Yeah, about. Okay. This is performing okay. No jittery lag or anything like that. It's quite smooth. The screen's fantastic. Took the coins. Nice 
nice job. Double tap anywhere. Whoa. Ah. Rubbish. Okay, so that was nearly a couple of minutes there on that one. Let's try it on the Ligu Shark. Get rid of this little bit. Oh, what is that? Oh, we didn't get that. Ah. Oh. Right. That will do on that one and all. Okay. Uh, let's try a bit of asphalt. The racing game. Future quick tutorial. No. What? You can tell I don't play these games that often. I don't want to download any data. I just want to play race. Try it on the shark. Next. No, I don't want to play that. That'll do. Start race. Okay, so Ligu Shark Asphalt gameplay. Good at these. Oh, yeah. No lag here as of yet. Seems to be running smoothly. Apart from my driving.
That one. Let's do the Ulephone Power. Next. It's a little bit easier to hold because it's smaller. So I feel more comfortable holding this one actually than the Shark. Come on, let's get on with it. Oh, what already? So good on this one. And again. All over the place. Perfect nitro. Sweet. Right, is that done? Let's have a look at batteries now. Okay. Liga Shark, 96. Unifone Power, 96. 
both batteries on par uh, at the moment. What I was going to show you quickly, the camera, the front facing camera has got a, um, a flashlight on it. So, okay, you're going to see my face in it then. Oh, all I want you to look at is a little bit there, the flashlight. Okay, ready? Which I thought was quite cool. Never seen a front facing one before. So that's that. That's um, pretty neat. Um, so yeah, they're pretty much on par. This comes out the best on Antutu. Um, if I was to pick one, it would probably be the the Ulephone Power. Um, I think I'm quite big. I'm quite big. I've got big hands, but um, I find this this is just perfect for me. 5.5 inch screen. Uh, I felt more comfortable playing asphalt with that one than I did that one, even though I came first on both. Um, I also noticed on here can be a little bit unresponsive um, when you're typing and, and stuff like that so um, but mind you I type you have to hit it quite hard sometimes there's sometimes where it's not very responsive and stuff but that's me being picky also this can be a bit of a pain in the pain in the arsenal but um, it's very it's a tough one but I'd probably pick the Ulephone over the um over the Ligu Shark. Um this does come out better on Antutu as well, so uh, I think that's about it. Really. Um Yeah. Oh. That one's now ninety five percent. That one's now ninety six percent. And what I will do is play a video on both of them. Okay, I'm going to play a film, let it run for 10 minutes and then see what the battery's life is on both of them. Okay, that would do. Let's stop both of them. Check battery life. And the phone is 93% and the shark is 93%. So they drain exactly the same speed. <clears throat> yeah, if I was to choose one, I would choose the um, Ulephone Power. Um, better performance. Um, and it fits in your hand a little bit better than the uh, the shark as well so um that's everything so thanks for watching bye